Hello everyone and welcome back to MK's Aviation. So today we're doing another Louisville International Airport update. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, all flights are realistic for the 9th of December 2020. So uh, yeah, without further delay, let's jump right into this video. So today we're going to start off with the cargo section. Uh, first, right off the bat here, we got a UPS 747-8. Um, I don't have nearly enough cargo planes <laughs> in this update for Christmas time, but uh, I'm going to make do with what I got. So uh, right in front of you, as I already said, we have an EPS 748. He came in from Cologne, Germany, and we'll be heading out to Philadelphia. Next, we got a Polar DHL 747-8 with the uh, doors open. Um, this DHL does not come to Louisville anymore, but uh, UPS all, or I think it's UPS always hires like uh, you know different cargo airlines such as like Atlas or Western Global um, to come in and help them with the Christmas season as they are slammed with packages. So yeah, he'll be heading out to Anchorage. Um, I'm still trying to get a Western Global MD11. I just have not had the opportunity or money yet. All right, next we got a UPS 757. This guy came in from Fargo, and we'll be heading out to uh, Chicago Rockford. Then we have a UPS MD-11. This guy came in from San Antonio, and we'll be heading out to JFK. And last for the part, the UPS planes, we have a UPS 767 came in from Boston, and we'll be heading out to uh, New Orleans. I'm hoping to get a, uh, another UPS 767 for Christmas, but uh, yeah, fingers crossed. All right, next we got the Deltas. Uh, it seems like there's a new Delta aircraft on the Atlanta route every week, but uh, this week we have, I think for the past couple weeks too, we've had the uh, Delta A319s, which serves to Atlanta, Hartsfield, Jackson, or Citrus Aviations Airport. So uh, yeah, that's uh, now on the A319. Next we have a Delta Embraer 170. Uh, this guy is going to be making a flight to Detroit. And uh, then behind it, we have a Delta CRJ 700 with service to Minneapolis. Next, we have a United Express Embraer 170. This guy is about to push back for Chicago O'Hare. And in the background there, we have a United Express Embraer 175. And this guy is about to push back for... Taxing out, we have a Delta 717. This guy will also be heading to Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson today. Just sitting here, we have a United Express Embraer 175. This guy's gonna be making a flight to Houston Intercontinental. Now for the Americans, uh, again, sorry, we have an Embraer 190, uh, just need a CRJ 900 uh, for this route, but uh, he's gonna be heading out to Dallas-Fort Worth. Then we have an American Eagle Embraer 175 with service out to uh, Miami. Then we have an American Eagle Embraer 175 with service to Charlotte Douglas or CLT Aviation 13's airport. Next, just sitting here at the corner, we have a Southwest 737-700 with service to Chicago Midway. Then in front of you right now in focus, we have a Southwest Colorado 1737. Uh, sorry, this has kind of been in a lot of updates, but uh, this was actually the uh, aircraft on this route uh, with service to Denver, which is kind of fitting for the Colorado 1. And then in the background there, we have a Southwest 737-700. This guy is in the plane livery and will be making a flight to Atlanta, Hartsfield, Jackson, or Citrus Aviations Airport. Uh, fun fact, my dad did actually operate this flight in real life a couple weeks ago. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Taxiing down for his departure on runway 17 right, we have a UPS MD-11. He came in from Ontario and will be heading out to Oakland. So yeah, that is the final aircraft in this update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, leave any comments you may have down in the comment section. Um, also, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100 before the end of the year. So if you could help me do that, that would be awesome. And uh, yeah, next video should be my United Fleet collection. So I uh, hope you're excited for that one. And uh, yeah, in the meantime, God bless.